MMAfighter.com here with Nam Fan. Nam Fan will be taking on Shad Smith at uh, EFWC Extreme Fighters World Championships on August 6th. So, Nam, what have you been doing since your last fight against uh, J Jay Z at K1? Uh, yeah, I took some, I took about a week off to rest, but I tried to get back into it. Uh, I did some pro boxing, I did a pro boxing match in Montebello. And, How'd that go? Uh, it was good. I, uh, Knocked him out in the second round, body shot. So that, that was good. How's the how's the pro boxing career going? Or the uh, pro boxing, you know, I just use it to like get my hands ready for this martial arts. You know? But it's doing good. I'm three no, two knockouts. So far, so good. You know, so far, so good. So uh, you're gonna be taking on Shad Smith. What's the game plan for this fight? Uh, you know, the game plan. He's really wild. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to you know, use my boxing skills to uh, to pepper him up. And you know, when I find that opening, you know, pound, pound them hard, and then uh, set, up, set my punches up with some takedowns and look for a submission. That's the game plan. Are you training any anything uh, different or specific for this fight? Yeah, just basically, just try and get my, you know, my, I just try and get my champ jujitsu like always. Just try and get my jujitsu better than it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, build new strategies for MMA. You know, watch a lot of tapes. And uh, just try to get my boxing better. Just do the same thing. Just try to get do what I do better. You know. Oh, and that. Oh, one more thing. I, I have now. I have a Muay Thai coach. So hey. we're working some Muay Thai. You know, my kicks and knees, elbows, whatever. My Muay Thai sucks. I'm trying to work that in. So you've been, have you been taking that down in Lake Forest? Lake Forest. That sub fighter. Sub fighter. Lake Forest and sub fighter. So your last two fights have unfortunately been losses. Um, <laughs> one to Jay Z, one to Josh Thompson. Are you looking to make a statement in this fight? As I'm looking for a win in this fight. <laughs> I'm trying to win. The game, the, the, the first game plan is to win. Yeah, two, two, but I don't feel too bad because I lost. I lost to two high level fighters. You know, Josh Thompson oh. just fought my good friend Adam Lynn, and you know, like, knocked him out. And Adam Lynn is good. You know, people don't know, but he's very good. He's very, he's very well against me. You know, and I did very well against Thompson. You know. And then Jay-Z, he's a two-time Grand Prix champ, K1 Grand Prix champion, you know, so if anyone says like, man, man, you suck, you lost Jay-Z, like, come on, dude, let's see if I did, dude, he, he freaking took out Shaolin, Shaolin in, in like 35 two seconds, <laughs> yeah. the world champ, multiple times, he's the world champ, and he jacked him. I was impressed. You know, come on. So I don't feel too bad with those losses, but I need to, I, I need a, if, I haven't felt a win in a long time, so I need to get a win under my belt. Do you, do you feel that the Jay Z stoppage was uh, premature? Or? Yes. Jay Z stopping against me, I thought it was premature. I thought I was still awake. I thought I was still moving. Jay Z and Shaolin, the, the difference was he was not moving. That was not premature. That was, that was okay. Me, I was, I was, I was okay, and I was still moving. So that was premature. That's the they're both short fight. It looks identical. The fight. Yeah. No, but the thing was, I was still okay, and Shaolin was gone. He was just covering up. He was, he was gone. He didn't want to fight anymore. Did he? Did he feel strong in that fight? I, he felt strong, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal, you know. Yeah. I didn't think he was that strong, but maybe he was because in the, the Shaolin fight, he just grabbed my neck. Like, ah! It wasn't even a take. It wasn't even a takedown, man. It was a double leg. Not even a judo throw. Just got by his neck, just through the floor. I know. He looks. <laughs> He looks really big for 155. Yeah, it was freaking hilarious. He was not tall either, but he's not, he's like mine. He's height. wide. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's like out to here, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was, that was a good fight. It was a good fight. Last I don't time. Blame though. I made Mario Masaki. I want to rematch Mario Masaki. That's what I want. Yeah, screw oh. that guy. So, uh, what's the deal with your Strike Force contract? Is that up? No, 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 no. I have four fight contract with Strike Force. I fought one fight with Strike Force. And uh, Strike Force, you know, uh, they're real cool. You know, uh, if I ask them, they let me uh, fight other organizations. They're the one that, are, they're the guys that actually hooked me up with the fight against Jay Z. You know, so I still have three contracts left with uh, Strike Force. Oh, that's great. I was supposed to fight in the Playboy Mansion against Billy and Delista this last fight in the Playboy Mansion, but you know, I didn't. Only one week in between fights, you know, I didn't want to get hurt. I fight this fight. You know, so I gave it. I wanted to fight in my hometown. That's why I gave the fight to Adam. Adam Lee. So fight in my hometown, and it was good. So I thought opportunity. So is there going to be a the huge uh, fan base you usually get? No, it's gonna be a bigger fan base. Oh. Because it's my hometown. So nice. Good. The publicity is good now because you know, I'm fighting like so, so local. Yeah. Like, like a 
bunch of Vietnamese newspapers. I was on the radio yesterday. Uh, I was on some Vietnamese television station doing some interviews. And this is gonna be good. This is gonna be fun. That's this awesome. Be, yeah, this is, all those Saigon's gonna go this fight, man. It's gonna be fun. What's that? So what about your fight with uh, Cub Swanson, the grappling fight with Cub Swanson that you had? Oh, that fight. <laughs> I was, uh, me and Cub met at the Best of the West, and uh, he choked out his guy. I beat, my, I beat, I think, uh, all my guys by points. And uh, I met Cub, I think, in the semifinals, or quarterfinals, something like that. And uh, Cub was good, man. He had good guillotines. I, I, I shot him, I took, I took him down, I was like, He's sucking his teeth. I was like, I was like, dude, I'm gonna go out. And I was thinking, oh man, I ain't gonna let this guy choke me out, dude. I just <laughs> hold my breath, just, just let him get tired, and just push him off. And he got out, I got out of my two. Just keep taking him down. He pushed the guillotine, take him down, get the guillotine, 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 guillotine. Then uh, it was, I think it was even. No, it was it was even. I was, I was beating my guy like, for uh, 42 so far. The reason, only reason why he got two points is because I went for a submission and I was still attacking and I'm on the bottom and the ref goes, two points. I'm like, what the hell? I need two points. Boy, I got out and Kurt tried to file off me like this. Tried to take me down. He almost got me and freaking overhooked under. Boom! Lots of loud drop on him. I was, and I, I don't know, I'm on the side of the wall. I looked at the ref. Hey, two, baby! Get my two points! <laughs> I just tagged right now. I beat him six to two. Nice. This is fun. But, you know, me and Kurt, we're good friends. You know, it was cool. It was fun. It was a fun match. And I, uh, I, I, then I lost the Ryan Hall in the finals. <laughs> yeah. How about your school that you're opening up? Yeah, I'm uh, in about another year, in about January, February 2009, I'll open up my school in Garden Grove. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be called Nam Fans Modu Gym. That's what it's gonna be called. Oh, nice. Yeah. What about your belt promotion that you had? Yeah, I just got. I officially got my brown belt. Nice. Because I got my brown belt before, but it was from Jason Bogan, a good friend of mine. You know, around this time, you know, you know, my coach just passed away. And there's a lot of things going on. Yeah. And stuff, you know, and like, uh, and nobody, people, we weren't, we weren't thinking. And he's a brown belt. He promoted me to brown belt. Mm -hmm. And in jiu-jitsu, the rules, you can't do that. Only a black belt can promote to black belt, you know? So yeah. a brown belt cannot promote to brown belt. You have to be one level under. You know? So Rick Estrada, a black belt from South by MMA, promoted me, officially promoted me to brown belt. That's awesome. Seven years. Seven years of jiu-jitsu, brown belt. So hopefully another, maybe another year or two, me get my black belt. We'll see what I can do. That'd be perfect. And I get all the chances. All the chicks just walk around with the black belt? Yeah, you know. Well, uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nam. <laughs> you have any, you want to thank anybody? Oh, uh, of course. I want, I want to thank everyone that supported me all this time. Brad, for always supporting me all these years. <laughs> Uh, my sponsors, you know, Budo Videos, uh, Toe to Toe, uh, Kaizen, and uh, you know my training partners, you know Anaheim Boxing, you know Art James, Dennis Gonzalez, um, Rick Estrada, Russ Mura, uh, from Sub Fighter, and uh, Adam Lin, you know he comes down, and Fumi Fujimoto, the Muay Thai coach. Thank you. Thanks, Brad.